33 which statements are true for one mole per dm cube of sulfuric acid so the first one shows that it is a strong acid H2SO4 so if we have one mole here one mole per dm cube we will expect to have one mole per dm cube one mole per dm cube coming out okay it's totally dissociates then we end up with zero for sulfuric acid from this one mole this is a weak acid so part of the one mole will form H plus so we have less than one mole from here and then the same we have less than one mole not all of this dissociates and whatever is left over will remain as HSO4 minus so which of the statements are true we will have a pretty high amount of H plus okay, due to coming out from H2SO4 and coming out from HSO4 SO4 2 minus is high no because this is very weak okay we will get much less than one more at the end so this statement 2 is wrong that actually makes statement 3 wrong already again we compare H2, HSO4 minus same as SO4 2 minus only a small portion of HSO4 minus dissociates to SO4 2 minus so we actually have more of HSO4 minus than your sulfates so this statement is wrong only one is correct silver chloride dissolves in aqueous ammonia what actually happens when it dissolves it actually forms a complex AG plus together with two ammonia um, molecules okay if I draw out the lone pairs here what is happening is actually the lone pair of the on the nitrogen forms a dative bond with your silver ion so there is a coordinate bond form oxidation number of nitrogen before it was in ammonia minus 3 it is still the same down here it is still in ammonia form so there's no change in your oxidation state of nitrogen ammonia acts as a base it is not accepting any protons here it's not accepting a H plus so it is not acting as a base here Thirty-five, comparing between HCl and HBr, okay, the bond of HBr. How does it compare? So, the bond energy of HBr is less. That's correct. It's easier to break the HBr bond. The polarity of HBr is less. That's also correct because Br is a less electronegative atom than Cl so the polarity of HBr is less than polarity of HCl the length of HBr is greater because of the size of Br is bigger the length of the bond will be longer also so all three statements are correct Thirty-six. manufacture of ammonia it will be useful if you have the equation and understand that it's exothermic and then we see what is true at higher temperature the yield goes down if it, the reaction is exothermic the forward reaction is exothermic high temperature will shift the equilibrium to the left so we will have less yield but because they have more energy the particles we will get a faster rate of reaction so yield goes down correct rate of production faster also correct higher pressure the yield goes down when there's high pressure the equilibrium will actually shift to the side that has less gas molecules which is actually shifting to the right so the yield actually goes up okay? and the rate will also be faster but why don't we have high pressure well because the equipments to maintain high pressure will be more expensive With catalyst, the yield goes down, but the rate of production is faster. Catalyst will not affect the yield. 
it will only make sure that equilibrium is achieved much faster. So no impact on the yield. Thirty seven which compound can be obtained from propene in one single reaction? Propene I'll leave out the hydrogen. Propene, how do we get two alcohols joined to it? We can do that in one step if we use coal dilute KMNO4. And then we get our diols. Propene can also be formed into your polypropene, which is this structure. If you do polymerization and propene, if you add the Br, okay, this one looks very tempting, but you must realize that the Br are not added to neighboring carbons. This Br is added to the one end, this Br is added to the other end. So this one actually is not correct. We will not get this structure, which is represented by three. Right, they should be BRs side by side. Thirty eight optical isomers. We have a chiral and we have a mirror image of each other. These are the optical isomers. Their empirical formula will be the same because they have the same molecular formula. Functional groups will be the same also. They are mirror image. Structure formula is basically the order is which they are in which they are joined. It doesn't really bother about the three dimensional space. So structural formula still will be the same between these two. So all three are the same for optical isomers. 39. Which one of chlorination of ethane is chlor correct? Hydrogen gas is one of the products. For hydrogen gas to be formed, we will need two hydrogen radicals which will not um, be produced. Okay, We will not have hydrogen radicals involved in the reaction, so we will not get hydrogen gas. Two and three must be correct then. Okay, Propagation step should be familiar with this. The initiation step is the homolytic fission. The chlorine, one electron to each chlorine, will get two chlorine radicals. So both statements two and three are correct. Forty, which one will give positive results? Aqueous bromine will be reacting here, the double bond, it decolorize, and this one becomes single bond. Two four DMPH will be attacking here, the ketone group will form an orange PPT. Fehling's reagent will look for aldehydes. We have no aldehydes here, so number 3 will not react. 